how to get started with exercise 1.5, customizing SVG files for, for color control in the QGIS map design book. Um, you're going to be bringing in three different layers from the um, Seattle OpenStreetMap data, and that's going to include the lines, the multi-polygons, and the points, and I just have them down here. This is an extremely busy map because it includes all kinds of polygons, points, and lines, but um, what, we, what we're going to do is we're just going to select some of them using a filter. So, for example, if I look under the um, attributes of multi-polygons, we're going to use um, two fields, but one of the fields here is going to be this natural just to select where the water is. So the way that we do that is that we right click and we go under filter and then we just set our filter. So remember one of those was natural and if that is equal to water and then they also um, include oops, oops. and then they also include and and um, amenity, which is up here, is null. And I'm going to say OK. And what that does is it just selects the water features. I'm going to turn off my lines for a minute so you can see that a little better. So these are just the water features. Um, you go ahead and color those according to what's there, and um, you can relabel it under the properties. But um, then they ask you to make a copy of this, and you're just going to duplicate that layer. And this one is going to be the land. So I'm going to go under property so I don't get confused. I'm going to put in land. And then I'm going to apply a different filter to this, as they indicate in the book. And um, that's going to be, I'm sorry, not a different filter, but I'm going to go under the properties, and then the symbology, and then I'm just going to select everything that wasn't previously selected. So I'm just going to invert my polygon, select those that weren't selected, Unselect those that were selected, and I'm just going to give us a different color so we don't get confused here. And now I have my uh, and now I have my water and land. And you'll style those according to the um, directions in the book. And of course, all of that is done under the symbology. And then you you can change the color of the lines and the outlines here, and um, other things like burning in. Um, as they indicate that you should do there. Okay, now for the lines, the um, filter that we're going to apply to that is highway not null. So that's going to be highway not null. Say okay. And then when I display these, um, only these particular roads are displayed. So we're no longer seeing the ferries and the, and the bridges and all those sorts of things. So I'm going to, uh, and then for the points, is we're going to use other tags. And then we're going to use this like, which means it contains something like, and anything with coffee in the title, which is why we have these percentages, things before or after can be included. And say OK. And if we want to check to make sure we got the right number, we can um, show how many features we now have. We have 190, that's good. And these are going to be where our coffee shops are. And of course, we can see that there's a lot of coffee shops in this area of downtown Seattle. Let me just go ahead and zoom into there now. Okay. And once again, you'll be doing uh, more things to, um, to make this look more like the map in the book. One other thing they ask you to do is to um, put this in a different map projection. And the way that we do that is under Project, Properties. In this case, they just kind of give you a code for it, but that's okay. That makes it easy to search. It's um, 102348. And we can see what comes up is Washington State Plain North, Washington, the state of Washington. That sounds good. So I'm going to say that, and now it's in the proper map projection. So um, one other thing we're going to do here, which is kind of an important thing, is we're going to... Um, is we're going to set the symbology to an SVG or a scalable vector graphic. That's basically just a, um, a symbol on a map that we can make different sizes and different colors and all those sorts of things. So for this, I'm going to right click here. I'm going to go into the properties. And then instead of a, um, instead of a simple marker, I'm going to use this SVG marker, scalable vector graphic. And then it's going to ask me where I want to get this from. 
So here I'm going to go to these three little dots here. You can pick any of these, but we're going to we're going to choose one that comes with this exercise. And we're going to go under QGIS3 data. We're going to go into resources. And then this is the one that you may want to start with, but the problem is the color will not change on this one. They tell you how to start with this one and change it so you can get to this one where the color does change. But I'm just going to head, go ahead and open this for now and say OK. And now um, all of our little points here oops, should appear as little coffee mug or coffee cups. Let's make those larger. And the nice thing about these now is that we can uh, we can change the color and all that sort of thing if we want to. So um, that's going to be the last thing to do. I would like you to do the bonus exercise for this, which you guys is important. Um, you're going to go into the properties of this, and instead of doing a, a um, single symbol, you're going to do rules based. And um, for this rules based one, you'll um, you'll set this. Um, you can call it Starbucks. These are going to be all the Starbucks coffee shops. And then here, you'll change the role. And we can see what uh, fields are in here if we go under fields and values. And there's one called name. And then the name we can make equal to. And then if we want to see what names are under there, we could uh, start typing here. And we can see that there's a Starbucks, and then there's other ones we might miss, like some of the drive-throughs or, or other things. But let's just pick Starbucks for now. I'm going to double click on that, say OK, and say OK again, and uh, say OK again. And now all the Starbucks are going to appear here. And now I'll be able to change its color and all if I want to, uh, if I want to do that. But let's, uh, for now, I'm going to. Uh, Right click, copy, right click, paste, and I'm going to change this. So now these are going to be all the ones that are not Starbucks. So we'll just call this others. And uh, for these, the name is not going to be equal to Starbucks. So anything that doesn't have a Starbucks in it will be here. You can say OK. OK. And now they're still all one color, but now I can just go in, double click, and um, and change the uh, color to two different uh, two different colors to represent the two different types of coffee shops. So you should really be working on making this look much better with the water, the edges, um, the roads you'll burn in to the background and make everything look really good because this is what you'll be using for your final map layout.